Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Abhishek this side and I know it's been a while. It's almost been six months actually since I recorded the last one. But yeah, there's been a bunch of stuff at work and also I've found uh, it a little bit difficult to make time and sit down and record but I'm finally back. Appreciate your patience. Um, but today we have a very interesting video. I wanted to talk about a bunch of plugins that I have been using with NeoVim um, and uh, the ones that I ended up on and as you can see it is avante.nvim uh, but in this video I wanted to quickly go through copilot chat, uh, avante and code companion I will talk about my experience of uh, using all of them and how I finally landed up on Avante. After that, I'll do a quick demo of Avante and my current configuration. And yeah, after that, we'll wrap it up. So um, the first plugin that I actually started with was Copilot Chat. Uh, this provided everything I needed at that time, a way to chat with GitHub Copilot models and then um, you know ask them for suggestions reviews stuff like that and this is what copilot chat looks like and more or less all of these uh, ai plugins have a similar interface so they will have some sort of window with a history section and a user section um, some of them have these as combined so copilot chat has these combined but then Avante creates different sections uh, with a, also a section for selected files and stuff where you can provide more context. Uh, but yeah, started out with Copilot, used it for the longest time, uh, found it very useful. Uh, but then I wanted to explore uh, Olama and use local LLMs uh, with NeoVim, which I back then I did not find a way uh, to do with copilot chat and the final thing that it lacked was actually mcp support um, so there's this awesome plugin called mcphub.nvim uh, but I, I don't know if it has support for copilot chat now but back then there was no mcp support um, but yeah overall an awesome plugin if you uh, just want a quick way to get the job done and you only need support for github copilot stuff a really good plugin but then i decided to switch from it and go to codecompanion.nvim uh, what codecompanion.nvim added on top of copilot chat was actually the ability to configure and use any models so i used it for olama models a bunch of them i think i was playing with DeepSeek at that time um, and it was pretty good uh, you can go on a flight and still have a llm to bounce your ideas off of and ask it to do your some smaller tasks uh, but yeah that's why i'd switch to code companion and then it also received mcp support with mcp hub but i did not stick around with code companion for a long time i in my use case, I found a couple of bugs while using Code Companion, and while I was going through them, trying to open up issues or work on fixes, I actually discovered Avante. Uh, I had taken a glimpse of Avante a long time back while it was still very early. I did not find it super useful at that point, so I moved away. But when I looked at it uh, in the recent past, I did see that it has evolved a lot. Uh, it has added support for a bunch of tools, customizability. So not only it can work with GitHub Copilot, it can work with any LLM provider. That can be Olama, OpenAI, Claude directly, a bunch of other providers uh, that you can customize and use. I have been using it for GitHub Copilot mostly currently because right now I don't have a need for the Olama models but if you want to you can. Um, it has much better UX 
as you can see uh, the sections are more clearly defined adding context is much more simpler and the mcp support was my biggest uh, reason for switching to avante not only it provides good support for mcps but it also uh, has a nice ux built around them you can see the params that the mcp tools are being called with uh, it has much better integration with mcp hub so this is mcp hub uh, so yeah those were the reasons why i switched to avante and i'm planning to stick with it for a while um, and yeah th this is mcp hub if you are not aware this is also an awesome plugin that lets you install and manage mcp servers from within new web and as you can see i have the github mcp server configured the time one was something that i was just playing with mcp to do is something that is still private in my private repos i've uh, not finished and released it yet but something that i've been working on um so yeah let's do a quick demo of avante now so as you can see this is my config if you want to take a look at the full config feel free to come to nvim 2k and in the plugin slash AI directory you'll see avante.lua um, I did a little bit of a dynamic uh, provider creation over here but outside of that it's fairly basic uh, just configured things according to my tastes uh, feel free to take it and modify it according to your needs these are the models that I, I have configured by default and as you can see I've been using Gemini 2.0 flash by default because for me uh, faster responses and quick iteration is important when I want to do longer tasks or heavier tasks I switch to Cloud Sonnet 4 or maybe even Gemini 2.5 Pro but my default has been uh, Gemini 2.0 flash so uh, let's start with something very basic I just ask it about uh, summarize this file for me okay so it will go ahead talk to the llm and as you can see it will tell you all of the actions that are being performed and it went ahead and it summarized it says configures the one they plug in for new vim provides the assistant blah 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 so you can ask it to do bunch of tasks you can also you know do stuff like this uh, so if I select it I want they ask I can ask it about specific lines as well so as you can see specific selected code ask it what model is the default right so as we, if you see it also sends over the selected code as a uh, Param. and it, I mean I, that was the only line but yeah it is able to make that um, discovery so now let's quickly try the MCP integration right uh, so let me go ahead and ask about a repository um, so can you tell me about the shake slash Image to a repo, right? Let's see. So it first tries to do a web search, which I have not configured, but then it is it is trying to make a MCP call, and as you can see, you can see the query that it is being used, and as you can see, it went ahead and found MCP Dmux uh, 2K, gave me a bunch of information. So let's go a bit in depth. Let's ask it about the open issues. What are the open issues on the repo? Let's see. So it will use the list issues tool call. Uh, and by the way, you can take a look at all of the available tools by a provider here with an MCP hub. And you can also actually call the tools from MCP hub manually if you wanted to um, github and the atlassian mcp 
are the ones that have been using the most you can do a bunch of things not only read information but also add or uh, create or update information as you can see create issue is one of them create pr reviews stuff like that okay this seems to be taking a little bit longer okay now it's making another mcp tool call okay and as you can see it has back and it says that there is one open issue and it talks about this so let me ask it about um, can you tell me uh, about the comments on that issue let's see what it comes back with okay and as you can see it's making another tool called get issue comments nice it was able to find all of the four comments uh, and it was able to you know get the right information I can also ask it to create issues so for now I'll ask it to create an example issue um, create an issue with the title of WSL support and add a plan um, to fix the current open issue there let's see just asking it to create a plan what Gemini thinks is accurate okay so looks like the tool called failed oh yeah it could be because my personal access token I have only given it read access this specific token but yeah, if you give it right access it should work and we can also see the exact plan that it would have uh, used to uh, as the body of the issue um, but yeah uh, you can add a bunch of MCPs uh, with MCP hub if you go to marketplace Atlassian is the other one that I was talking about yeah this is the Atlassian one super useful I have taken it off right now uh, but yeah I have it on my day-to-day -day usage very very useful um, and yes that was the video I think that's what I wanted to talk about if you want to know more about any of these repos feel free to go to, to their uh, readme's and read more about them uh, the configs as I mentioned again are part of the nvim 2k repo you'll also find mcp hub and other configs over here um, but yeah that was about it thanks again for watching and let me know what kind of videos you uh, you want me to make and or you want me to talk more about more than happy to those ideas will be useful for me and will keep me motivated in making more of these videos moving forward um, but yeah that said thanks for watching uh, and I will see you in the next one bye